Hello and welcome to iRacing in VR. Another new category of race today. This is dirt ovals with the late model limited cars. These are insane. Look at them. They're all lopsided like a big door wedge. Anyway, let's see how I get on with this new one. Late models. 25 laps. Let's make them count. The track temp is 34 Celsius. So this is Williams Grove. It's a nice sized oval. Uh, it's a really good oval as well. It's, it's almost like a scale extra it's track. It's quite long. The straights are long with two little bits at the end as opposed to being overly oval. Um, and these are very, very powerful. And like the sprint cars, they only have one gear. So you've literally just got to balance your throttle around the corners. And as you can see from the back of these cars, they're totally asymmetrically set up. Um, with the aerodynamics and, and body shell, um, I'm not sure about the actual mechanics of the wheels or the axles, but they're completely asymmetrically set up. They don't drive in a straight line, um, very similar to the sprint cars. They, they, they're slightly staggered, so you've got a nice splodge. You've got to get rid of that. You've got a nice. Um, it, it straightens itself out the faster you go, basically. So you go fast, then you Scandinavian flick, so you get the, the back wheels out. It's very much like Speedway, essentially. Get the back wheels out, round the corner, balance your throttle, turn the, the front wheels in, and um, slide it out. The, the thing we, we, we have to look for is the colour of the track. So the, the light brown is the sticky part of the track, and the dark brown, which we're going over now, is the slidey part of the track. So we've got a sticky part down the bottom, we've got a sticky part at the top, which is the cushion. Um, so you want to really avoid getting your, your car in the middle of the, the corner as you go round, otherwise you're not going to get the traction or the trajectory. I either want to be very high or very, very low. So let's see how we get on. This is my first time in these cars. I've had a, a quite a bit of practice. Pace car's about to go in. Fingers crossed we can make this uh, a bit of a hoot. I'm qualified in ninth out of 12 cars. So let's off we go then. Go, 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 go. Turning in. Watch out for the slidey. Get the wheels turned. There's going to be a bit of argy-bargy on this track. Somebody's already had problems. Now he's gone up, taken him out. That's lovely. Car outside. He does we it. Clear up high. Okay. Four. It's, it's, uh, and again, the force feedback is very strong on this. So it's uh, quite the challenge to control the car. And these cars, also these cars are a wedge, so you've got to be careful if you touch another car that you don't flip them. Let's get the wheels get out, the correct. Zero, wheels out nine, again. Five. Oh, 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 there we go. Christ, it's hard to a, get straight. Come on. Seven, zero. Floor it, floor it, floor it. The car ahead has just done a 22.17. That lap was a 24.30. The guy behind is catching. The gap's now 1.30. Yeah, not be worried about the guy behind. I'm just worried about hitting the marks. Let the guys in front do their thing. <laughs> this is great. Round we go, round we go. So the thing I've got to remember with this is that my, my steering wheel, normally I don't move it very much left and right for things like GT races, but for this one you've really got to have quite a bit of rotation, so I've got to let my arms know on. I can turn the wheel further right or left than I normally would. Just done a that was I'm on the slick bit. Don't want to be on the slick bit. Today. I want to try and keep pointing towards the exit of the corner so you can just accelerate out. And go sideways, get the wheel round, get the wheel round. Easy does it. That was a good one. Let's try and string a few of those together. P7. So I'm up to 7th, it's been a couple of people taken out. Concentrating so hard on... You've just done a 22.57. That wasn't bad. Concentrating so hard on where to get the back end of the car out and then try not to send it out too far and you don't want to come off the the gas otherwise the back end will just come all the way around 
it's such a delicate operation balancing this throttle. My car hasn't got nearly as many stickers on as the others. I think I've just got the, the stop. That was a 22. Body work. Inside. Clear low. Car low. Clear low. Come on, boy. It's Joey. Joey Tent. He's got a very angry Liga sister called Millie. 21.59. Oh, oh, oh. There's a car on the low side. Ha! That was uh, your inside's clear. Whoa, it's a mess. It's a mess. I just couldn't get out of the way, and the guy just sent him straight over the top of me. But looking in the mirrors, he's landed on the right way up. So um, hopefully he'll be able to recover from that. But that's what I mean. These cars are just a wedge. So you hit anything at speed, and you're going to send it over the top of it. Very similar to the radicals in that sense. Oh, seventh man. position. Your lap times are increasing. Come on, keep your focus. That was a really, really intense lap. Come on, get it done then. Let's get the wheels turned. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. This is so important with iRacing because you're paying for the subscription and all the other stuff, blah, blah, blah. It's really important to do as many different types of races. Oh, have I done an overtake? I have as well. Um, make it stick just like the mud on my visor we'll get rid of that in a second but it's important to try out as, as many different types of racing as possible because oh he's done me up the backside first gear come on engage let's get back in it yeah it's important to experience many as many different types of racing as possible because uh, oh karma um learning car control like with these cars that are so powerful on this track on the low side. It uh, stands you in good stead for like the smaller cars and when you're doing the GT and the LMPs. Just helps have a better understanding of your control. We've got the lapped cars gone past, so let's try and keep with them. We're back in seventh. After a crazy couple of laps, I'm back to seventh. The gap ahead is now 1.39. This is better, much more consistent in terms of uh, corner angle and corner okay, speed. Mate, that's half distance, you're looking good for fuel. You've Running just, halfway uh, there. Car on the high side. We'll get another overtake. Still there. Clear high. I've no idea if I'm racing them. I can't be bothered to take my eyes off the screen to look at my relatives, but even so. No, I was racing in for positions, so that was a pass. P6, that yep. lap was a 22.41. P6, I've done a, another pass. Up from 8th to 6th. This is good, this is really good. I've been wanting to race these for ages. I've the been watching is now videos of both the iRacing version and the, the real World of Outlaws stuff. And it's just so compelling to see these guys sliding round, sometimes 3, 4, 5 cars wide on a corner. You think, you've got to have a go at this. And it's totally worth it. track is really starting to slick up through the middle quite heavily now so we'll be quite careful because that's where you're going to lose your speed. But I'm really pleased with this. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 11 seconds. Something totally different but brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Next car is Alan. Alan's a lap there's many laps down actually, and um, I think Alan's quite new You've to this, he's just learning, he's driving kind of how I was when I started to practice, oh, the gap behind the is wall, keeping the straight On the line, side, car low. okay, so that's, uh, clear low. he's ahead of me, let's try and stay with him, car low. Clear on the inside. his laps up, so let's try and stay with, uh, with this car, follow his lines, you can really see how he's turning his wheels there. Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. The gap in front is now 12 floor seconds. It, floor it, floor that floor last lap was a 22.36. That's right, lap time's on too bad. 
We've still got Alan to come. He's just working his way round, doing his own thing. Good lad, there he is at the top. Five laps to go. Ready? God, this is flown by. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant fun. The gap behind is now 3.7. Gap behind is increasing as long as I don't spin it. The sixth place is mine for the taking. Superb. Sixth place. Got the back wheels on the sticky stuff. In the attraction white flag so next lap's going to be the last lap last lap on a lap down it's all right more lap to go i've done really well here i'm well happy with this the practice definitely paid off and the the research watching how they they drive these cars There we go, through we come. P6, that's the finish, well done. Nice one, let's bring it in. Just inside here, brakes on, easy does it. So, uh, super race that, loved it. Qualified ninth, finished six, we'll just get a confirmation of that. Incident points about four. Yep, so I'll flip that guy over. Yeah, superb. And there we go then. So, uh, thanks for watching. We'll do more of that. That was fun. Hopefully fun for you guys to see. Uh, until next time then, take care.